are you considering taking online classes in college, part-time or full-time? Do you wanna know if it's right for you? Do you wanna know what it's like? Well, that's what we're talking about in today's video. I'm giving guys the pros and cons of taking online college courses. I have points in my college career where I've taken like one or two college classes online, and I have points where I have taken all my classes online and been a full-time online student. So. I have a lot of knowledge, I have a lot of experience in the subject, and I'm here to tell you the pros and cons of taking your college classes online. So if that's a video that you're interested in, please keep watching. But first, if you're new here, welcome to my channel, hello. My name's Christina Clark, I am 21 years old, and I post faith-based lifestyle and college content, like this video that you are watching right now. So if those are videos that you enjoy watching, maybe you should, you know, subscribe. That'd be dope, and you can join the family. All right. Let's go ahead and let's get into the pros and cons. So the first pro is something you guys are probably expecting, but that is you get to set your own schedule and your life just becomes more flexible. I swear having my classes online makes my life so much easier to manage. I get to do my schoolwork when I want and at the time that's best for me. I get to sleep in. I get to do my actual work on my own time and that means I get to set my schedule how I want. I can pick when I want to hang out with friends or if something comes up unexpectedly in life, I'm able to move things around and attend to that and it's not like, oh shoot, I have to miss class or dang, I can't go and do this or work this kind of part-time or full-time job because I'm stuck in a classroom. Or in a dorm. I'm a very independent person so I love having my schedule just the exact way that I want it and that benefits me and my school, my career, my work life, and also just like taking care of myself and prioritizing my relationships and friendship. So online classes are just beautiful for that. But the con is you have to hold yourself accountable. There's no professor, there's not really an advisor to tell you, hey, you need to get on this, or hey, you really need to do better at time management, or this due date is coming up, and like, and constantly reminding you of finals or midterms or important projects, things like that. If you're not good at keeping yourself accountable and you're not good at time management, that's gonna be a real issue. I had to learn it the hard way, but it was something really easy to understand and get better at and apply it to my life. So hopefully it's the same way for you. I would make sure that you know going into it, you gotta hold yourself more accountable. The next pro is something that I absolutely love about having my college classes online. And that is you can work ahead. The way my school approaches online classes is every semester there's an A, B, C, and D term and each letter term is eight weeks. So you have classes that start in one term and they end by the other. Sometimes they overlap, but that's the way my school does it. A lot of colleges aren't like that. At my last university when I took one or two classes online alongside my normal in-class classes, they were just the whole semester. I've been in both situations and it's really nice to be able to work ahead. Sometimes you have a lot more free time on your hands and you're like, hey, I wanna work ahead. I wanna get ahead. The con to this, which you probably could see coming from a mile away, is just as it's easy to get ahead in your class, it's easier to fall behind. Again, with that last con, there's not that many people holding you accountable and you have to hold yourself accountable. And sometimes you can fall behind. That's a very real thing, especially with some classes that are a little bit more challenging. But if you're holding yourself accountable and properly managing your time, you shouldn't fall behind. Make sure you're scheduling out time for each class and making sure you're highlighting important due dates. Don't get into the habit of turning things in late. Don't get into the habit of saying, yeah, I I can lose like 10% of my grade. It's not that big a deal. It's still an A. No, don't do that. I did that with my residential classes. Screwed me over. Screw me over. I screwed myself over. So just keep that in mind. Work ahead, not behind. The next pro is specifically for people who are taking all of their classes online and are in an online college program. Your DCP, your degree completion plan, I know it's called different things at other universities, but basically the requirements and courses that you have to take to graduate, it's a little less extensive than residential classes. And that's good because online classes already save yourself a lot of money, but when you don't have to take as many 
you get to save more money and who doesn't love that i love that it's not because you're not getting a real degree or it's not as challenging but it's just because when you're a residential student you have to take some gen eds that are tailored to residential students specifically it might just be an introduction to the university or other gen ed classes that are just specifically for residential students i don't know why some of the classes you have to take on campus you don't have to take online but really when you take them online you're just taking what you need to take and that's it you're getting a legit college degree but you're cutting out the fat the extra stuff that you don't need but your degree is still legitimate you're still learning exactly what you need to learn the con to this is you're not involved in your school community your college experience like what you see in movies and tv shows one they're not like the exact same way but you're not really getting that because you're not on campus. You're not going to class in person. You're not joining clubs or Greek life or whatever else you're envisioning in your head. It's not there because you're online. Some people really look forward to college because of that experience. I have been fortunate to be in both situations. I have been a residential student. I was a part of Greek life. Then I transferred and there was no Greek life offered at the university that I was at, but in both situations, I've taken online courses, I've had semesters when all my classes are online, been there, done that, so I didn't mind missing out on the school community and, you know, residential events. But for someone who's never been to college, if you want to take all your classes online and just be an online student, you're going to miss out on that. And if you're okay with that, cool, dope, that's fine. But if you're not going to be okay with that, maybe consider taking your classes in person if you can afford it and some online. It's up to you. The next pro, it is so cost effective. Let me say that again. You save your coin. We know online classes are less expensive than being a residential student. Clearly, you don't have to live in a dorm and pay all those fees. You don't have to buy a meal plan. You don't have to pay for like a health fee because you're not going to be going to the health center. You don't have to pay for an activity fee. Like all those expenses that are factored into residential tuition, you don't got to worry about. And you save that money. With some colleges, the price per credit online is a little bit less expensive than what it is residentially. So you will legitimately be saving thousands of dollars especially if you're going to a pricey pricey university keep in mind that when you take some classes online and some residentially clearly you do have to pay those residential fees and some colleges they may charge a technology fee it's different everywhere but if you take all your classes online you're going to be saving some money look on your school's website and they will have the cost of everything the price of fees and activity fees and tuition all of that how much they charge per credit hour and you can do the math and consider your financial aid and what will be applied and you can get a good idea of how much it's going to cost compared to a residential college experience the next con is when you take your classes online there's not that many resources for you to utilize of course this really just depends on the college that you go to and where you take your online courses but think about it. if your classes are online it's not like you can go to the library or go to the writing center or your advisor's office and you know what I mean all those extra amenities that are offered with residential campuses you don't really have them online. A lot of online schools, they will have things like online tutors or maybe um, online writing centers. There are resources, but the resources on online schools just doesn't compare to residential. The next pro to having online classes is you can cater your learning style to the type of learner that you are. When you go to residential classes and in-person classes, you don't have a say in that. You have to sit through lectures, you might have to do labs if you're in a science class. You have to do what they say, you know? And with online classes, you can, I don't want to say pick and choose, you'll have required readings, you might have to watch videos, but you're able to take that information and put it into a style and focus on the styles that you connect with as a learner. Some people learn more just by watching. Some people learn more by doing. Some people learn more by just being analytical and thinking of what if this were to happen or what if I take this 
piece of knowledge and put it into this hypothetical situation to help me understand it better. You see what I mean? Like you can craft your learning experience to a way that better suits you. You don't really have the option on residential campuses. You can tailor it a little bit, but for the most part, you gotta show up and you gotta do what they want you to do. A con is because your classes are online, technology can fail. Actually, a week before I was gonna start my first online class, my computer, my laptop crashed. I didn't know what happened to it. It wouldn't even charge, nothing would come up on the screen. Luckily, I did like the SMC reset and she's working now, but that freaked me out. Your technology can fail, your computer can crash, maybe if you have to use a calculator, maybe your calculator can spontaneously combust, probably not, but like, you know what I mean? Technology can fail, there can be mishaps, you know, it's not perfect and you have to consider that and I highly recommend having a backup plan. If you do your schoolwork on your laptop, if you have a desktop at home, that desktop can be your backup plan. Or maybe when it comes to your Wi-Fi, if your Wi-Fi goes out and you have an assignment that's due in a couple hours, you can go to Panera or a coffee shop and that's your backup plan. Or if your luck just runs dry because I feel you and everything just stops working, maybe Maybe you can go to the public library down the street. You know, always craft a backup plan because your technology most likely will have mishaps and it might fail you every now and then. So that is a con to consider. The last pro that I have for online classes, and this is one of my favorite parts besides saving money, is you get to tailor your learning environment to you and you get to make it as comfortable as you like. So the way I do my schoolwork, I do it in my bed. I like to sit in my bed, be comfy. I like to put on my fairy lights. Maybe sometimes I'll light a candle. I'll put on study music if I'm studying. I'll get all my favorite supplies and it's just, it's a great atmosphere. It's cute, it's comfy, it's almost an aesthetic and I enjoy it. Yes, sometimes I actually enjoy doing my schoolwork because I get to make my environment tailored to me and how I want it. And that pro, can also be a con because if you're crafting your own environment, maybe you're putting something on the TV and you can be easily distracted. Maybe you might decide that you're too lazy or maybe just the fact that there's not much change going on. You're doing the same thing every day. It's not like you're walking to class or sitting in a classroom, things like that. So while it is a pro, it can also be a con. And those are my pros and cons for taking online classes. I hope you liked this video. I hope it could give you insight and a little bit on what to expect when taking online classes. And I hope if you are kind of in between trying to make a decision, if you wanna be full online or take a couple of classes, that this could really help you decide. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a big ol' thumbs up, subscribe. I would love to have you guys a part of the family and comment down below if you are taking any online classes or if you're a completely online student and what are your pros and cons. Share them, let's help each other out, let's give advice to each other because I could probably use some help too. Sometimes I'm not the best student. Anyways, um, I love you guys and I will see you in my next video.